Hello, I'm Dr. Giorgio Sersenu. I am Assistant Professor and Extension Specialist of Urban Forestry at Auburn University and the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Today I want to introduce you to terrestrial laser scanning or TLS technology applied in urban forestry. So terrestrial laser scanning or TLS was first introduced in forestry back in the early 2000s and since then there has been a dramatic increase of applications of TLS technology in traditional forestry but also in urban forestry. So TLS is an active remote sensing technique which means that the laser, here we have a terrestrial laser scanner, the laser uh, produces energy to generate millions of uh, laser pulses that are emitted and those uh, laser pulses capture the three-dimensional structure of the surrounding environment by creating what we call pond clouds of the surrounding area. So these pond clouds are 3D representations of the surrounding areas uh, of uh, the Tresa laser scanner. So this is the head of the laser scanner and these are the oscillating mirrors which are rapidly oscillating and they're bouncing around the emitted laser uh, pulses and this is how the laser scanner captures a 3D representation of the surrounding area. So now let's talk about how we actually use the laser scanner. So this is the head of the Teresa laser scanner which is the most critical part of it and the first step is to mount it on a tripod. The second step is to make sure that the scanner is leveled so we need to adjust the legs of the, um, of the tripod to make sure that it is level. Then the next step is to create a project for the scanning. And I already created a project for the scanning today. So after that, we need to um, check the sensors. We need to um, check the inclinometer. And here we can make sure that uh, the scanner is leveled. So the bubble basically needs to be exactly at the center in order to make sure that the scanner is leveled. Then we need to check the compass and we need to update the compass. Now the compass is important because um, the scanner records the direction uh, of uh, the scanning beam as well, uh, which is an important information uh, for creating these uh, 3D uh, laser point clouds. So we need to update the compass so the scanner now will start like rotating and this will only take a few seconds so that the scanner can update the uh, internal compass that it has. Now the next step is to determine the scanning parameters and more specifically the resolution and the quality of the scanning. The resolution is the level of detail and the laser scanner actually gives us different options for resolution and quality and we can uh, choose uh, different combinations of resolution and quality and obviously higher resolution and higher quality increases the scanning time so it's really up to us to determine what are the optimal scanning parameters based on the uh, tree that we want to scan and also based on uh, the time availability the last parameter that we need to determine is the color. So the scanner does not only produce uh, millions of laser pulses, but it also captures color information at the end of the scanning. And it's do it does this by capturing several images of the surrounding environment. Then this color information is fused together with the 3D laser points and this is how we can create point clouds of trees with color information. If we use this color information during scanning, it will increase the uh, scanning time by a couple of minutes. So it's really up to us to determine if we really need this information or not. Now, we can scan several trees together as a group. This is what we call plot level laser scanning, or we can scan individual trees in urban areas individual tree laser scanning is probably more applicable. In order to scan a tree and create a, three, a complete 3D representation of a tree, we need to scan it from different distances and directions 
uh, and we usually scan the tree from four different distances and directions. That way we can have a complete 3D image of the tree. Otherwise we'll have some missing information or some gaps in the point cloud and this is something that we call occlusion and we want to minimize this occlusion as much as possible. Eventually we need to merge together all these different laser scans in order to create one single point cloud. And this is something that we call co-registration. In order to combine the laser scans together, we need to have some identical objects in the scene. And therefore, we use these foam spheres that are all identical and they have the same size. And then the algorithm based on those spheres can uh, tie together all the different laser scans and create one single point cloud. And now we are ready to scan the tree. And you may wonder why we need to use terrestrial laser scanning in urban forestry. With this technology, we can drive very detailed information about the 3D architecture of trees that can inform statistical models to estimate the probability of tree failure, which is very important in urban areas, but also to estimate the biomass and the carbon stocks of urban forests.